got them, Chris. We got them. Get them into their posts. Aye, aye, Captain. Crafty bastards. They're hauling away. We need to go faster, Chris. Let's feel Unfold the sails. Him. Move it. All hands As make sail. Seven. Take it to larboard, Chris. If we go past the rocks, we may well cut them off. But it's hard to larboard, man. There's fight in you yet. You right, suck. sir. Fine cool you make. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let it spill. You hear me? You are the wiser. Sails away now. Aye, aye, Captain. Over there, Chris. Fire. Time to hit them fire. broadside. Ready the cannons, man. Blast it, Shield. Have mercy. Brace yourself. Stop waking about and get a move on. Fire the right side, jackasses. Lord have mercy. Some idiots, idiot. all of you. Get a hold of yourselves. Come on, men! You're not cowards, are you? Reach for the ship! Mind the sodding cannonballs! Make a burn! Come on, Megan, you gutless bricks! Incoming! Brace yourselves! I'm going to cut you myself! 
We're not going to Davy Jones' locker yet, men. Spill the wind, Gutless dogs. Give her all you got. Right, right away. As ordered. Race for empire. You chicken leather cowards. As you wish. <laughs> the sea won't have us, eh, boys? They blow up. Lower, I said. I hope they're not gonna load themselves, you lazy bums. You'll be smart, sir. Damn it. Yeah. Right away, Jack. Right away, Easy. Now. Easy. Yes, yes, sir. Don't like this, Chris. This Torado asshole isn't going to play us straight. I'm telling you, something's off about this whole deal. Why you kill one of his own people? It doesn't make sense. We can't trust him. Calm down, Marcus. You know I don't trust anyone. There's no way I'm going to let this slime bag slip away without paying me. So lead the way. Yeah, I know. But this is bad business. A man willing to kill his own people for personal gain is no kind of man at all. Let's get what we're owed and then call it quits with him. Perhaps I'm just getting too old for this kind of bullshit. Could be I need a break. Back in St. Lucia, it's just me and my distillery. <laughs> Same routine day in and day out. You know, it's been a long time since you visited home, Chris. <laughs> and what would I do there? Keep you company while you watch the barrels mature? You liked St. Lucia well enough when you were a boy. Speaking of rum, you remember Captain Franz Peterson? He came by recently for his uh, supplies. He's been asking for you. Says he has a problem we could use your help with. Dutchmen drink like fools, but Franz is a reliable man. Not like that Spanish dog, Torado. We're close. Keep your blade ready. Here we are. Let's see if these bastards are already here waiting. I see you brought one of your colleagues. So, how was your trip? I'm not complaining. And how is... Su salud. How is our friend? Busy exploring the bottom of the sea. You know, I 
tend to steer clear of places like this. Pirates, murderers, whores. Depravity and filth everywhere you look. Everything that's wrong with this city, all gathered in one place. I kept my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. On the other hand, if you can rely on anyone in this city, it's you people. Greed makes you predictable, it makes you malleable. For the promise of money, you animals would gut your own mothers, wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs> Lucky for you, I don't share your high Spanish morals. If I did, I wouldn't have been able to kill your fellow officer for you, would I? Now give me my money. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. You know, another benefit of dealing with your kind is that you are so easily used, then tossed away. Christopher Raven, you stand accused of murdering an officer of the Spanish Navy. The penalty for your crime is death. <laughs> You're gonna regret this, Dorado. Kill him! There's more of them coming. Hold the door. I'll take care of them. Got it. Behind the door, Chris. We're going to have to split up and meet at the harbor. Go upstairs and try to find a way out. I think I saw a balcony up there. And what about you? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Besides, they're not after me. Aren't you lucky? See you on the other side.
Well, that went well. I guess we should avoid San Juan for a while. Agreed. Might be a good time to visit home after all, eh? At least until you decide to murder another officer of the Navy. Hey, what, what's going on, eh? You sons of bitches trying to steal my ship, eh? That's what's going on? Nope. You're... you're not? No, everything's good here. Lay back down and get some sleep. Oh. Thanks. Hmm. Marcus. Set sail for St. Lucia. Found something interesting during the fight. Hmm. Found something? And here I thought we were fighting for our lives. It looked to me like you were trying to save your own neck. My neck? Seem to remember saving yours a few times back there. <laughs> when I was wrestling with one of those bastards, this coat ripped loose. Hmm. It's a note. Hmm. It says they're looking for a man named Lancaster. Lancaster? The weapons dealer? I don't know another one. Hmm. Nah. Man's got his fingers in every pie in the Caribbean. But if this is true, he's staying in Bridgetown now. Seems that's where our friend Torado is going to be looking for him. Bridgetown, eh? If you're looking to get even, confront him there. Better there than in the Spaniards' own backyard. Less messy that way. I got business in Barbados. A large group of my people are gathering soon, and I should be there. A gathering? I thought you were talking about taking some time off. Guess my bears will have to take care of themselves for a while longer. But you're right. We've been on the run for so long. I've almost forgotten what normal life on land looks like. No offense to you, of course, Christopher. You're a grown man. You can make your own decisions. That's nice of you to know this. So what will you do? Mm. Are you heading to Bridgetown? To Port Royal Horrors give you the burning drip. This Torado, I won't let him off my hook. But I'll give you a ride to Barbados. Least I could do for you saving my neck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm parched. Tavern? First sensible thing you've said all day. Lead on. Sorry, I didn't mean to spill it on your shoes. Sure, I understand, you little fuck. Let me show you how much I understand.
Let's head to the tavern. I see a place to sit. Come on! So you were saying? Mm, nothing beats a frosty mug after a good fight. I'm just happy to be alive. You're thinking about Hammerhead Harry upstairs, aren't you? I'm thinking of any way we can get ourselves a new ship, Chris. A damn moneylender. Believe me, I'm not at all that fond of them either. But there isn't much else we can do. We'll figure something out, Marcus. We should be counting our blessings, Chris. Lady Luck isn't always going to spread her legs for us like she did back there. Captain Raven? It's me! Donovan, do you remember me? Of course, Mr. Donovan. Long time no see. You remember Marcus? Of course I do. Good to see you, Marcus. So, how's things? Could be better, Captain. Could be better. I should have crewed for you when I had the chance back then. That Captain Terrell. Regretting your decision to stick with him? I, I am. Things were fine for a while, but now... Captain Terrell's lost his bloody mind. Too much rum and sun, I think. Take a walk down by the docks and see for yourself. 
He's a guy pissing all over his sailors. He's... You mean he's actually pissing on his men? Aye. Says the golden rum toughens their hides. So why don't you do something about him then? Well, we tried, sir. We did. There was a lad. Went by the name of Lenny. He was young, but damn tough. And he went after Captain Terrell. Oh, I still hear his screams at night, the poor sod. Skinning a man alive is one of Captain Terrell's favorite pastimes. Reminds me of how things went down in William's ship. Yeah. That was a damn powder keg waiting for a spark. You're thinking a challenge? By the rules of the coast, blade versus blade, it would keep me from having to deal with that bastard hammerhead, Harry. But taking him out won't make the crew yours. Will they follow you? Ha! There's nearly a soul on board the serpent that hasn't wished for the good captain to slip and break his neck. If you challenge him by the rules, no one's going to stand in your way. But why are you asking? You're looking for a new ship. You bet I am. Spaniards burn my ship. Rotten luck, lad. So, Chris, it seems you've got another option. What do you think? Hmm. And what do you think, Marcus? Well, it's a bad situation either way, Chris. Borrowing money makes sense in the short term. We can get a ship and raise a crew, but that's a lot of coin to have to pay back. And challenging Terrell isn't exactly going to be a pleasant sail around the harbor either. too keen on being in anyone's debt. I'll take care of Captain Terrell. Sticking a blade in a man's back is easier than dealing with a damn lone shark. That's for sure. Sorry to interrupt, but I've got to be getting back before Terrell notices I'm gone. Good to see you, Captain Raven. Marcus. Likewise, Donovan. Captain Raven, sir, if I may. I hope you decide to challenge Terrell. I know the crew won't intervene, and you'd be helping us all out of a bind. Good luck, Captain. Fair enough, Donovan. If you see me coming, make sure the crew stands aside. See? Cold beer solves most of life's problems. Yeah. What's bothering you? So where do I find Terrell? Well, Donovan mentioned the docks, so th that's where I'd start. If not right outside, then perhaps at the far end of the pier. Just go left after leaving the inn. It's, it's not far. What do you think about all this? Well, it's a bad situation either way, Chris. Borrowing money makes sense in the short term. We can get a ship and raise a crew, 
But that's a lot of coin to have to pay back. And challenging Terrell isn't exactly going to be a pleasant sail around the harbor either. Yeah, but where the hell are we going to buy a ship? Your guess is as good as mine, asks the barkeep, maybe. I'll be on my way, Marcus. Stay vigilant. I always am. You watch yourself, Chris. Captain Raven, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. How are you doing, Carl? Same old, same old. Dealing with drunken pirates looking to get drunker. What do you need, Chris? A drink? Information? Show me what you have. Oh, what do we not have? That sounds about right. What do you need, Chris? A drink? Where can I find Hammerhead Harry? The moneylender? Huh, he's up top, sitting by the stairs as usual. Fucking moneylenders. <laughs> you don't like moneylenders. <laughs> Why should I? Bunch of greedy bastards, if you ask me. I heard that someone in the tavern is selling a ship. That's right. Go upstairs and talk to that old drunk pirate, if he's sober enough to talk. I heard he's got a nice ship, well fixed up. But it'll cost you a damn fortune, that's for sure. I'm looking for a good weapon. I sell booze, Captain, not weapons. You need to find a trader. There should be a couple of them in my tavern, and I'm pretty sure one of them is selling weapons. There's also a smith in our city, if you need one. I'll be on my way. Sure, see you, Chris. Hammerhead Harry. Hi. What do you want? I have a problem. There ain't a problem in life that a goodly amount of coin can't solve. 
So, how much of a solution might you require? It's a pretty sizable problem, so I'm after a pretty big solution. I need a new ship, a crew to man her, and a fine blade. Ah, that's a whole list of problems. So what can you do about it, Harry? Harry? Do I know you? Do I want to know you? Do I look like I give a shit what you want? If not, perhaps one of my lads can make you care and forget about seeing any of my money. Now, you take my money, you play by my rules. Got it? Fair enough. What's the offer? Ah, I see you've learned to speak my language. All right, there is something you can help me with. You do this one little thing for me, and I'll be satisfied. Fair enough. What do you want me to do? See, we moneylenders are a peaceful, generous lot. All we really want to do is help those in need. <laughs> now, there are some bad, bad people that would like to stop us from doing what we do. Right. For example, there is a man, let's call him Georgie, who's gotten himself into a heap of trouble. Georgie decided to go it alone, far from his old comrades in the Navy. Wanted to become a new man with new clothes and new friends. He asked us for a helping hand, and we were glad to lend him one. Alas. Let me guess. He's not paying you back, is he? Uh, no he isn't. And you see my problem, don't you? You take him out, the British find out you've killed one of their own, regardless of the fact he's a deserter, and they hold you responsible. That's the long and the short of it, aye. I could just as easily hire any cutthroat here. But I'd like to help you out. The man should still have quite a bit of money left. Retrieve it and bring it to me. So... You ready to pay Georgie a visit? It would go a long way towards earning my trust. I'm ready. Where do I find him? He's usually around the north side of St. Lucia, and hurry up. Once his old friends find him, my money's gone. you had a schooner for sale. The finest schooner you've ever seen. Are you interested? I need a little more information before I make a decision. Of course. Whatever you want to know, just ask away. It's a damned fine ship. What about the price? 20,000 reales, sir. You say it's a fine ship. What makes it so great? Ha! Huh. Let me tell you, Captain. I took care of this ship for more than 30 years. I upgraded with extra cannons, and I had the hull reinforced. It's a real beauty. If it's such a great ship, why are you selling it? Hi. I don't have enough money to drink.
Hey, Georgie. Long time no see. Do I know you? I'm the man who's gonna kill you in a few seconds if I don't get what I want. What? Hang on. You one of Harry's boys? I told him I was gonna pay him back. Honest. I don't care what you said. Either you die now or give me what's left of the money you owe him. Decide fast. I've got places to be. Hold on, hold on. I can... I don't have much on me. Don't kill me, please. All right. Make me an offer. I have money. Just not here on me. I, I can give you a key to my chest. It's filled with gold coins. And what's stopping me from just taking the key from your corpse? Ah, but you see, I planted a barrel of powder nearby. Open it the wrong way, and boom! I see. So how do I avoid that? Yeah, it's a simple mechanism. Just turn the key left and not right is all. Can I go now? Run. Anything you need, you'll find it here. Don't bet on it. Just show me what you've got. With pleasure, sir.
Mikey. Been a while. Oh, Jesus! Not quite. You look like you're about to shit a pineapple, Mickey. You're not happy to see me? No, no, no. No, Chris, I, I mean, I, uh, I'm happy to see you. Yeah, you look good, man. Listen, I was gonna find you. I was just on my way, I mean. Oh, good. Well, here I am. Give me my money. I have it a coin on me, Chris. Better have it when I get back, or I'll open your guts slow. Understand? Mickey? Soon, I swear. Oh, God, wait. I've got this. Please, it's all I have. What's the scrawl? A map? Not just a map. Red Ned's own map. I stole... I got it from this guy in Barbados. Says where the Sotlucks kept their treasure. A pile of gold, Chris, ten, twenty, fifty times what I owe you. Mickey, if you're fucking with me, I'll come back and find you. You won't be happy when I do. Understand? I know it's packed with Satlock warriors. You sending me to get eaten? I swear to God, Chris, this is real. Red Jack swears it's real. He's a bastard, but he never lies. So long, Mickey. If this is fake, you'll be seeing me in my hook soon. Count on it. You're back. So, tell me the good news then. Here's your money. You were right. Georgie was a very bad man. Splendid. See? That's how you build a relationship based on trust. Now we can talk about your loan. This is the offer. Listen up. I'm all ears. First thing you need to know, there are many different moneylenders all across the West Indies, but we like to talk. Cross one of us, you cross all of us. So don't even think about taking my money and then making a run for it. Is that clear? Clear. Second, you're not looking for a few pieces of eight here. You want a pretty hefty sum, and you can pay it back in full any time you like within three months. However, if you wish to pay it back in smaller chunks, you're going to need to pay me at least a small portion of the amount every week. And finally, you're going to pay me back the amount you borrowed plus half that again as my fee. Got it? Got it. And one last rule. 
you lose your ship, your mum gets sick, or you end up in chains, whatever sorry excuse you got, I don't want to hear it. If you're late on your payments, we will find you. Try to cheat us, and we'll serve you your balls on a silver platter. We do not forgive, and we do not forget. Is that clear? Clear? Glad to hear it. So, what'll it be? Think carefully. I have to think about it. Let me get back to you.